are players who abuse exploits and pad their stats just as bad or worse than the players who cheat? Hey guys, Nightfall here, and the other day on one of my other videos I posted, someone commented and informed me that there's a way to pad your stats in X Defiant. I was already planning on making a video to go over the complaint that people are still having about the KD trend and stat being broken or frozen for some people, so this will sort of be a two for one video. I do want to start with that first, since that should be the easiest and least rage inducing to go over. So after I posted my initial video the other day on this, there were still a few people, including the person whose tweet I referenced in that video, that had reached out to me in my comments saying that something is still not right, or something's broken. So after a few short chats, I loaded up X Defiant on a brand new account and played seven games of mostly team deathmatch, in which I tried to go even on my KD, which was a lot harder than I expected. I actually found myself having to blow myself up at the end with grenades just to even it out. But as annoying as it was, I did it. I played seven games, three of which I won, and ended with 147 kills and 147 deaths, giving me a whopping total of a 1.0 KD. My next step was to see if this stat and or trend moved at all. Now I did all this on the new account because my main account has way too many kills and deaths already that trying to move my KD an inch on that account would be near impossible. So after playing two more games where I went 27 and eight and 41 and eight, which gives us a total of 68 and 16, adding that to our original total of 147 and 147 from the first seven games, we now have 215 kills and 163 deaths, which should be a 1.3 KD. But the game is showing me that I only have a 1.2 KD. So just out of sheer curiosity, I attempted to load up one more game and get one kill and leave before dying just to see what would happen. So I loaded up, dumped the P90 clip into a sniper and left only to come back out into the stat screen to see no change at all, which was kind of expected. But I think what we can conclude from this small test is that while the stats and trends are not freezing, at least for me, the math ain't mathin'. Because if I'm 215 and 165, that should be a 1.3 KD, not 1.2. So it is shortchanging us. Now, I'd really like for someone who truly believes their trend number specifically to be stuck at the same thing no matter what they do, to reach out to me in the comments, as I'd really like to investigate that further. No, I'm not a dev or affiliated with the game in any capacity but that's just the way my brain works. I see a problem and I'm trying to figure out how the problem is happening to begin with and why it's happening, or if it's happening at all. All in all, I'll amend my previous statement in my last video saying that some of y'all can't do math to some of you just can't read because some of you still think that this stat is based on the last 10 games and it's, it's not. It's the trend that's based on the last 10 games, but also, apparently the devs failed basic math class because this should be 1.3, not 1.2. I really think they should show us how many kills and how many deaths we have on this stat page, just so we can keep them honest. So if you want to help me investigate and you're somebody who truly believes that your trend is frozen, hit me up in the comments down below and I'd be happy to work with you to try to see if we can find out what's going on with it. But anyway, moving on to the other topic here, and that's these no good dirty cheaters and exploit abusers, which in my book are the same thing. So I'm sure you've seen these people, maybe in your games, maybe in a discord, maybe in a tweet, and they have a screenshot of them in the end game screen where it shows their winning streak at like 400 something games or more. And in fact, if you look here at the leaderboards on tracker.gg, you will actually see that the number two person in the world Reller, if I'm pronouncing that right, has 1,630 wins out of 1,631 matches played, which is just insane. That means that this person has only lost one game. And while I'm not saying that this is impossible, I'm saying it's highly improbable. So some of you might see that and get discouraged and think there's no way that you're nearly as good or you can compete with somebody on a 400 some game winning streak or somebody like this who's only lost one game. Well, 
If you're observant enough, you may have also noticed something odd when I was reviewing the KD ratio when I was talking about the other issue. Check out the win rate here. It's a 5.0 showing 100%, but I told you I played 9 total games, so how is it at 100%? So that's right, I didn't lie to you, I played 9 total games and I only won 3. The problem here is that this was the other test that I was running with this account, and I found out that if you back out of the game before you lose, it doesn't actually count as a loss. And this is how people like this are winning all of their matches. Now, I'm not calling anyone out here, but if the shoe fits, wear it. With this being a known thing now, you can't really trust any of these players claiming to be the best and showing you their win rate. Instead, go through this leaderboard, find one of them that has their Twitch linked, see if they're live, and go watch them for an hour. You'll either be supporting someone who's super good at the game and deserves your support, or you'll find out that they back out of matches that they're about to lose and expose them for being the exploiters that they are. So basically what we learned is that your in-game stats are a lie and the ones being tracked elsewhere have ways of being padded to make you look better than you really are. The only way we can really have accurate leaderboards now at this point is if they get wiped and everyone starts over or they find a way to fix them and retroactively add all of the games that they left as losses or abandons or something along those lines. Otherwise, you will have people who are really good and have decent stats constantly overshadowed by people that do things like this. And if we can't even trust our own kill death ratio that is on the page in game, how can we trust anything else? What else do we need to question? Someone else brought up a good point as I was making this video and that's that the playtime shown here is different than what we see on the tracker site. Now, that could just be a difference in playtime versus actual time that the game is loaded on your console or PC. I haven't actually looked too deep into that one, but who knows, that might be the next video because that's kind of interesting. Either way, clearly something is off on this page and they need to get it together. I do think that there are many other bugs in this game that probably need to be worked out and are much more pressing than an issue like this. An example would be this bypass to the Ainsway penalty that you can do simply by holding down your left stick, which is just your bind for holding your breath, and spam crouching and not getting any aim sway at all. And since this was found the same day that they released that patch about three weeks ago now, I'll continue to bring this up time and time again, video after video, until it gets fixed. But this is basic stuff we're talking about here. This is math. This is how many kills do you have divided by how many deaths do you have. If they can't do that right, can we really expect or trust them to fix something as tricky as netcode? I continue to play this game because I know it's early on and I know they're at least trying to make it better. But finding out this information doesn't really instill confidence in me and the rest of the community once everyone else finds out. But here's to hoping they can at least pull it together sooner rather than later before they kind of shoot themselves in the foot and kill their own game. That's all I got for today. Let me know down in the comments your thoughts on all of this. Is this something that you already knew? Or is this news to you? And what do you think can be done about these issues? Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you enjoy the content and want to stay informed. Until next time.